We're going to continue to look at un the Understanding by Design format, and today we should complete Stage 1, which has to do with all of the, the standards and the outcomes uh, to set up this unit. Remember, there's three stages, and Stage 1 is to identify the desired results. So what's in this stage? Well, uh, the identification of the standards, the identification of the big idea and the transfer goals that emerge from that big idea for life, the enduring understandings that we want the students to carry away with them, the essential questions that can help students um, think in higher level ways and in deep enduring ways about the content of this unit, and then of course to identify the knowledge and the skills specifically that students will need to learn in this unit at what level and to put those, uh, to write those as learning outcomes. So let's look at each part. Here's the template. This is what it looks like um, in the Learning by Design. It looks a little different if you're using the uh, one that you got last semester, but all the same information is there. So let's look. Um, we need, we worked on unpacking the standards last time, and we looked at figuring out the knowledge and the skills specifically from the standards that students need to know. And we pulled those out of our unpacking charts, and we put them in the template under knowledge and skills, so we can specifically focus on the knowledge and the skills that students need to know. Then we write those as learning objectives. For example, students will define vocabulary words, this, 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 and this. Students will discuss. Uh, students will apply. Students will use in conversation. We write the standard, or we write the, the knowledge and skills in learning outcome form so that we know specifically what our students will be trying to learn. Um, here's the blank template with all the areas. You notice that it has the, the transfer goal up at the top, the knowledge and skills at the bottom, and then we're going to look right now at the standards over the side, and today we're looking very closely at that meaning part where we're looking at the enduring understandings and essential questions. Enduring understandings are those uh, deep changes, attitudes, emotions uh, atti that we want students to change, but we don't, uh, we're not going to be testing them. They're too big to test. Things like ethical stances and, and opinions and things that really affect the kinds of people our students will be. When we write the enduring understandings, we will use words like students will understand, they will appreciate, they will empathize, they will realize, they will come to value, they will grasp. These are the kinds of verbs we will use to state that deep um, understanding that we want students to aim for. Um, the enduring understandings are the insights that students will take away. They are the things that the students must understand if they are going to achieve the big idea. Remember the term enduring means forever. So think about what do you want your students to know forever? And you're going to put that in your enduring understandings. Now, straight from the enduring understandings come the essential questions. Um, and they may be important to uh, discuss. Uh, there are things that you want to be embedded throughout your unit, but you won't necessarily test those. These are things that you want students to consider and think about, but there's probably no right or wrong answer. You just want students to uh, come to the level of thinking about and examining these questions. So for example, here are some that, um, just to give you some ideas, why is it important to know cultural rules for conversation? You're teaching conversation, but Something like this is, is very important. It's not something you'll test when you have them do conversations, but it's an important thing for them to know. And so you may try to discuss this within the unit. Uh, here are some other examples. 
Why is it important to know about? How could you use in your daily life? These are questions with no right or wrong answer. These are not um, able to be evaluated, but they are important to consider. Those are your essential questions. So now you should be finished with phase one. You've got the big idea, which comes, uh, which is the reason, the rationale that the that this is important in the student's knowledge base, and um, you have looked at the standards and pulled out several standards that you're going to make sure that you address while you're teaching this unit, while you're teaching this particular content. You've come up with a transfer goal, which is what the students will learn. You want them to learn to apply to daily life, and it will probably come directly from your big idea, but it's something that they will do in their daily life, some way to apply what you have taught them. You've come up with those essential, uh, those enduring understandings and essential questions that you want students to consider, but you won't assess. They're too big. They're too debatable. And you've come up with a list of the knowledge and skills, the specific knowledge and skills that the students will need to address. And those came right out of those unpacked standards. So this is what you should have at this point to have completed stage one. And I look forward to seeing your stage ones as you upload them onto uh, the site for me to evaluate and give you some feedback.